Hey friends, today Goblin Griff is going to be playing Highway Rollers on, are you ready, Beginner Mode. This is a special request by Tony Meets Anthony. Huge shout out to Tony Meets Anthony. Make sure you visit his channel and support him. Okay, Griffin is going to be taking on Anna, Gerald, and Kentaro. All right, Griffin, you haven't played beginner in many, many years. Let's give it a try. There's Griffin. There are the three beginner CPUs. We don't need to hear the rules. I'll explain the game as it goes. Round one. Winner of the mini game gets 10 dice. Second place gets seven. Third place gets four. And last place gets two. And the game is lap happy. Race in this wild and wacky swimming medley. Each lap requires a different stroke. So you need to use the Wii remote in three different ways. Get to the goal first to win. Alright, we've seen Goblin Griff play this. He's getting a lot better. Let's see how he does. Our tip on this game is to get a good jump, a good dive right into the water, right when the gun shoots. Three. Alright, Griffin. One. Go. Looks like Griffin was able to win lap happy. Great job, honey. You now get a roll 10 dice. On the first roll, you want to try to get between 31 and 40 to get a plus 20 boost. Let's see what you could do, Griffin. Pretty good. Oh, a little too good. You overshot it by one. That's all right, honey. It's just round one. Next player gets seven dice. Anything could happen in highway rollers. You have a lot of last pit place boosts. You have a lot of backwards dice. You have a lot of forward dice. You have a lot of UFOs. Still very early. Kentaro goes third and gets four dice. That's actually pretty good because he's going to get a roll five bonus dice now. Next up, finally, is Anna. She wants to try to get an odd number or a matching pair. So she got an odd number, though, so that's good because she'll get a 20 space boost. Okay, let's go on to round two and see what the mini game is. The mini game is assemble bots. Put together legs, torsos, and heads to assemble as many robots as you can. Earn one point for a multicolored robot, three points for a single colored robot, and five points for a golden robot. Okay, Griffin, go ahead and get started. 
Our tip for this game is pretty straightforward. Before you hit the A at your Wii, look at what legs you're able to grab quickly. In this one, go ahead and show them, Griffin. The red legs look like they're readily available. Okay, go ahead, honey. Start! I think you got a golden one in there. Griffin, let's see. You want to try to get about a 36. 36 is what you want, honey. Once again, it's still pretty random. You still gotta roll the dice. Thirty-two. Let's see if you made it to the boost. Yes, you did. You are now eight away from the first challenge. Gerald gets to roll seven dice. Let's see what he rolls. Okay, Kentaro. Get a plus 20 boost. Alright, Anna, what are you made of today? You want to try to get higher than a 6. Oh, and you get a 3. That's okay, game is still very early. Only two rounds have been completed. Anything could happen with those nasty red spaces and the UFOs. The next game is Balance Broncos. Balance yourself by tilting forward and backward as your Bronco tries to buck you off. Stay on longer than the other players to win the game. Even on beginner mode it seems like Griffin's getting the harder mini games today. Either way honey, try your best. Oh, Griffin, you got balanced off on balanced Broncos. That's, that's a shocking defeat, but that's okay. You can't win every minigame every time. Anna, let's see what you could do. And finally, Kentaro before Griffin gets to go.
everybody's bunching up. It's still anybody's game. Gotta get a neat to get to the bridge. And you got an eight. Let's try to open the bridge. One, three, or five, and the bridge will stay down. This is just random. Try it. Nope. Unfortunately, no. That's the great equalizer in this game. Let's go to round four, see where it takes us. The minigame is Star Pupil. Earn points by throwing stars at the ninja targets falling from above. But you'll lose points if you fling a star at one of the women. So be careful where you're throwing those things. All right, Goblin Griff, do your best, honey. You beat these people on master. You should be able to beat them on beginner mode. Try your best. Great job, honey. Alright, Griffin, you're gonna have to open the bridge. Try to get a 42 if you could get that high. Try your best. It looks pretty good. At least in the 30s. 38. Okay, let's see what you get. You need to get a 1, 3, or 5 in order to open the bridge. And you open it. Great job, honey. Let's see where 38 takes you. Okay, Gerald, looks like you've been getting second or first a lot. You might be the toughest competitor on this round. And there's one of the first last place boosts we've been talking about. Good old Anna gonna get the benefit. She gets to spring 30 spaces. That really helps out Anna. Good old Kentaro. Like Anna has a good chance for another last place boost. And she's gonna get a last place boost again. She's really rocking it with the last place boosts. That's the best boost possible. 30 more spaces. Round 5 begins, it's still pretty close. Heart targets. Select only the heart shapes from the notebook. 
You'll lose points if you select any of the other shapes. The player with the most points after five rounds wins the game. Looks like Griffin's anxious to get started. job, honey. You want to get higher than a 42 or a 36 to get the plus dice. You get a 42, you're going backwards with red. I don't think you got 42. Let's hope 36. There you go. Finally, the rolls have paid off. Oh no, I think that's going to be a UFO if my memory serves. Four away? Oh, luckily the UFO is deactivated. That's a pretty high roll for just seven dice. Sure enough, 34 with seven, that's really high. And once again, good old Anna gets a last place boost. Anybody's ball game in Highway Roller. Never know what's gonna happen. Okay, Anna, do your best. Oh, and she gets the rocket. It was almost a one versus three, but she was able to get the rock. She's just zoomed into second place. Alright, let's see the next round six. Let's see what we have in store. The mini game is balloon boppers. Burst your opponent's balloons with a toy hammer. Keep your balloon safe and unpop to win the game. If your balloon is popped, you can stay in the ring and pop other balloons. Okay, in this game we like to say don't turn your back on any of your opponents. Oh, don't turn your back. Finish. Ooh, luckily Griffin was able to win. I thought he turned his back. You want to get a 29. Let's see. Well, you got to open the gate, too. So let's see what you get. If you get a high odd number, you'll be in good shape. That looks really high. Looks like you're going to jump everything. Wow, let's see if you could open the gate. This is the great equalizer. In order to open this gate, you need to roll at least one green die, die out of five dice. 
Come on, green. Oh, I see you, green. Looks like Griffin was able to do this challenge as well. That's nice and safe. That's a little unlucky for Gerald. He has to go back five dice. These red spaces can really be game changers. Okay, Anna, let's see what, what you're made of. Your best thing is to get a UFO and go to work. Goblin. Riff is, except it looks like you're gonna go backwards too. to round seven. After the last gate is open, the last player gets to choose what mini game to play. In this case, it's Gerald. What is he gonna choose? He chooses Recipe Recall. Memorize the ten ingredients the instructor puts in the pot. If you choose incorrectly, you'll fail the class. The last player remaining wins the game. Okay, what we like to do in this game is just count the vegetables out loud and then subtract as you start selecting them. Let, let us demonstrate. He's got one carrot, one potato, one onion, one tomato, one corn, two onion, two carrot, two tomato, two potato, three tomato. Okay, three, two, 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 one, zero. Zero bell peppers. I think that's right. Okay, two of everything left. Okay, one tomato left. Okay, that's all fine and dandy. Oh, I didn't see a bell pepper there, Anna. Looks like the winner is Goblin Griff. Okay, you want to get in the 36. Don't get as high as 40 or you're going to hit some red dice. 36. That looks good to me. Short is better. 34. Perfect. 
It's a one versus three mini game. Usually you're gonna need the game pad. Let's see what happens. If Griffin wins, he gets to roll five dice. If he loses, all the CPUs get a roll too. Okay, get the game pad, Griffin. Perilous Pathways. The gamepad player sets trap tiles for the rival players to fall through. The tiles around the trap The tiles around the trap tile will glow when rival players step on them. Use these tiles as clues. Okay. We like to make some kind of um uh, X pattern or diagonal pattern with our traps. That usually confuses a lot of the CPUs. We'll show you. We take the middle one and then the top right one. Let's see if they figure it out today. Well, we got two of them already, so that's a good start. Okay, let's do what we can again. Do the diagonal lamp. Diagonal line. Okay. Let's see if we can trick him. Let him think he's safe. And we got him. Good job, Griffin. Finish. That's our technique. It's usually pretty good all the way up until the masters. You get a roll five dice, Griffin. Stay away from the UFOs. Make sure you jump. Jump the red stuff. You got a 12. Oh, it's all deactivated. be a one versus three this is good if you guys win beat Gerald you get to roll two dice and just get closer the game is ninja scramble rival players swim around underwater and try to mix up their shadows the gamepad player must choose which shadow belongs to the target rival player oh Griffin looks like he's anxious to get started first let's see who he's trying to find He will be searching for Goblin Griff. Okay, Goblin Griff, just act crazy underneath the water. Stay, stay near everybody and stay. I think you're on the far left, Griffin. I don't know if you're too tricky. Well, you tricked him. Finish. Usually, those CPUs move around a lot faster. Alright, Griffin, get matching. I must say, the water looks very realistic on We Party You Highway Rollers. What do you guys think? And look at those dolphins swimming in the background. How pretty are they? Okay, Kentaro's turn.
Finally, good old Anna. Let's hope she gets a two, three, four, or five. Oh, and she gets an eight. We wanted that one versus three mini game to get the bonus dice. We're into round eight. Person in last gets to choose. That's Gerald. What are you gonna choose, Gerald? Twisted Flight. Twisted Flight. Wind up the rubber bands on either side of the helicopter to propel yourself into the sky. The player to fly highest wins. Make sure to wind each side equally or the helicopter will veer off course. Okay, what we recommend is hitting either the A button and then shaking really fast and then switching Three, over to the two, next letter one, with 7 to 8 go. seconds left. I'm sorry Griffin, you are already getting started. That should do it, I think. You looked pretty good. Oh, and you crushed him. Finish. Great job, Goblin Griff. Okay, Goblin Griff just needs a 12 to get to the final gate. Ten dice, that shouldn't be too hard. And he gets a 29, he's there. Okay, in order to open up the final bridge, he needs to get a 40. Goblin Griff, are you ready? Okay, try to get a 40, honey. Do the best you can. I don't know if that's gonna be 40. You might need the next turn. Yep. Okay, he's gonna have to go back 15 spaces. The final number is now lowered to 35. That's alright, honey. You never know what happens. Okay, Kentaro. You're 69 away, so you're pretty close. You're getting there. And finally, Anna. If Anna gets a 3, 5, or 7, she's gonna hope to get to Goblin Griff. Oh, she gets a 5. Can this be closer? She's gonna get a useful UFO. Let's see if she gets to Goblin Griff. That'll quickly propel her into second place. Or first, tied for first. And she gets all the way to Goblin Griff. What a great UFO. As we said, this is anybody's game. Round nine. Come on, Gerald, choose a good mini game. And it's Big Bang Blasters. Shoot down the stacked blocks to earn points. The player with the most points wins the game. This game could sometimes be random depending on what your starting order is. We always recommend trying to get at least three Start. blocks. Yes, Anna could win this. Oh, and Griffin goes first. The first spot is pretty tough sometimes. Okay, what are you gonna do, honey? Go for the easy three? Take that. He's going to stay in front of Anna. Oh, they don't count. 
help them. Stay in front of Anna. We want everyone else to beat Anna too, in case you don't roll the final 35. Looks like nobody else is wanting to win this game. Oh, I think he should have just stayed. Now they have the chance getting seven. Six. What about... Come on, Kentaro, get at least a three. Okay, you tied good old damage. Well, Anna's gonna have a good shot if you don't get the numbers, Griff. Let's see what happens. Like I said, highway rollers, anybody's game with those equalizers. Gonna need roll need the roll dice higher than that if you want to open up the final challenge. All right, Goblin Griff, all you need is a 35. I think you got there. All right. Goblin Griff with the 41. Now we hope you enjoyed this edition of We Party You Highway Rollers. It's dedicated to Tony Means Anthony. Please make sure you watch our other Highway Rollers videos. We play Master Mode a lot, Expert Mode. And we always try to give you useful suggestions to help your play. Please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, Goblin Griff, just scroll down, show everybody what was going on. Boy, Anna came close with that last place, but with that UFO. Okay, everybody, like to say goodbye. Have a great day.